So I know I said I wasn't going to upload on the main channel for a while. I will be back this Thursday with a live stream. But for now, I want to make a video on this. Now, apparently the clip shows a, a black woman. Not this one right here. She's reacting to a video saying that white people should not go watch Black Panther Wakanda Forever on opening weekend. So let's watch it. So the, the woman right here with the bigger afro, uh, she is just reacting. The real person saying it is the one with the dreadlock. So just want to keep that in mind for everyone watching. White people who have BLM in their bio. Mm -hmm. If you really want to prove to black people that you love us and you mm -hmm. care about us and you are down for the cause, do not go see that movie opening weekend. She's kidding, right? You buy your ticket, you give it to a black person or a black family who can't afford to go. And then you go sit at that theater uh -huh. in front of the doors. Wow. You make sure that every black person mm -hmm. in that theater can enjoy that movie in peace. You make sure that you use your body to block us Security from guards. anybody who would be coming in that theater what? to do us harm. That is your job. No, she's not kidding. You can go see it on another mm -hmm. weekend. Go see it on the second or third weekend. But the first weekend, that's for us. To do she's anything other than this is anti-black. Oh my God. So I'll react to what the girl just said. First of all, why do you have to specify white people? I mean, what about Asians, Hispanics, uh, anyone else, really? I, I don't get the point. Second of all, do you not understand how box office works? The more people go watch a movie, the more they pay tickets, the more, <laughs> the more, that, the more likely we get a Black Panther 3. Not only that, but you're supporting the filmmakers who worked hard on this project. Ryan Coogler, who is a black male, the people involved with this project, Letitia Wright, Angela Bassett, a lot of these talented actors and actresses, they are all black. And you know what really helps them out? When you go support this movie with your money. Now, I don't know how you think theaters work. Regal, AMC, uh, Cinemark, whatever theater you go to, usually they don't let you sit on the steps because that's not how it works. You pre-book your, t your seat. Whether it's at the theater or on Fandango or on the AMC app, whatever you use, and you order it there. You cannot enter there if you do not have a seat. Third of all, I don't know if you know this, but there's plenty of seats available. There are plenty of theaters around the world. Now, I know there are some places that have less theaters than others. In fact, there's one of my subscribers that told me that in the town that he lives in, there is no theater and that he has to go like a couple of towns away. And I think he said it's like a two hour drive. I know there's some theaters like that. But usually, if, especially if you live in bigger cities, Houston, Dallas, uh, L.A., New York City, usually you have multiple theaters to go to. Uh, usually there's plenty of seats available. Another thing is, that is kind of racist. I'm sorry, but if you're segregating an entire group of people solely based on their race, that is racist. I can understand what you're trying to say. This is a movie, you know, that is specifically made you know in the intentions to support black people it is but how better of a way to support black creators black actors back black actresses than to have everyone enjoy it to have every race out there enjoy the performances of these black people who work their asses off to get this movie made for us you know that i think that is more unifying than to say, oh, you know what? White people should just be human shields. I know right now there's this big, I mean, not right now. This has been happening since 2016. It's the one thing I hate about liberals, even though I consider myself to be a center left, center leftist, you know, very progressive. You know, you already seen the channel. You guys know my position on things. One of the problems on liberals is they tend to make issues on things that do not actually matter. You'll see a lot of them say, oh, my God, look at this old 2013 tweet from this old actor. We should cancel. It. We should cancel this person. Oh, my God. That person said a homophobic slur back in 2011. What should we do? You're not helping society at all. Call out real bullshit. Call out real actual stuff. But don't use stupid little issues like this that mean nothing. In fact, what you might be causing harm right now is white people could we could be watching this and think, you know what? I'm not going to go support this movie. Look at how this person's treating us. 
I'm not going to go support it. And you know what that means? Less money in the box office. The first Black Panther movie made a billion in the box office just two months prior to Infinity War coming out. Which eventually made a lot more. Uh, How do you think it made that money? Because a lot of people, regardless of race, went to go watch that movie, went to go support black content creators, and guess what ended up happening? Black Panther became one of the most popular Marvel characters of all time. This character, who in the comics was not loved, who was or he was loved by Marvel Comics fans, but the general audience did not know him. He was not as popular as the Incredible Hulk. He was not as, impop- as a, a popular as Spider-Man or Captain America. He was not at that level. He was in a little lower level. He's still a little very well-known, especially amongst the comic community. But guess what? He was not popular until the movie came out. And you know what happened with the movie? You saw white people. You saw Hispanic people. You saw every kind of race out there going to go support this movie. That right there is unifying. Telling white people not to go watch this movie does not help your cause at all. And also, it kind of seems very patronizing. Like this idea of going into like a black neighborhood or going to a bunch of black people and saying, Hey, you want Black Panther tickets? You want Black Panther? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll accept that any day of the week. But that seems a little patronizing. Imagine if a white person went to, you know, black strangers, black families, whatever, and just said, you want these tickets? You want these tickets because you want this movie? I mean, that kind of seems a little stupid. It seems very backwards thinking, too. I don't know. It's just fun. I just find it very stupid to have this mentality in the first place. You know? I, I don't know who in their right mind thinks like this. It, it's stupid. You know, Blue Beetle is about to come out, or not about to, it's coming in like a year. And look, I'm very proud. As a Hispanic person, I like seeing Hispanic characters be given the spotlight. But I'm not about to go isolate all my white friends from watching this movie. No, not at all. And one thing you're forgetting to consider is the comic book fans who loved reading these Black Panther comics finally seeing it on the big screen. And not just the comic fans, but what about the MCU fans who spent years and years and years, decades already, of loving the MCU, supporting the MCU for years? What about them? A lot of them are white. Are you saying they can't go watch a movie opening weekend just based on their color of their skin? I don't know. It seems very backwards thinking. And I'm sorry. It's it's very backwards. It's very backwards. You're not supporting anything. That is segregation right there. You're separating blacks and whites from watching a movie. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I'll watch the rest of what this other person's saying. Just shut the hell up. First off, go finish her video. I'll tag her down below. Finish her video. Go. Oh, follow wait, I her. thought that was her video. No, was that not her video? That was somebody else's. Look, I hate TikTok. I just now recently got it, and I don't even know how it works that much. Apparently, you can share. I don't know. Well, that's all we really need to see. But yeah, um, you guys let us know in the comment section down below. What do you think about the situation? Do you agree, disagree, whatever it is, let us know in the comment section down below. And all to all my white people out there, to all anyone out there, please go watch Black Panther opening weekend. And hey, if you want to, you can go support another, another black person by giving them tickets. Whatever, whatever you feel is necessary, do whatever. But hopefully a lot of you guys that are looking forward to this movie, go watch it, please. It supports marvel it supports kevin feige it supports i mean although kevin feige swimming in a pool of money already it supports everyone involved in the project go support it who cares what this woman has to say her opinion is unimportant it's clearly unintelligent and she clearly didn't think it out yeah you guys let us know in the comment section down below what do you think and i'll see y'all next time peace